Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a complete guidance to make this extremely beautiful bridal clutch bag. And I promise you, at the end of the video, you will be surprised to know that making this bag was such easier than you ever thought. Come on, let's make one together. I have selected satin fabric for this bag as it gives me a shiny effect which gives extra beauty to the bag. The length of the bag lock is 8.5 inches so the width of the fabric will be doubled to 17 inches. I prefer the size of the bag to be 8 inches so the length of the fabric would be 4 times hence 32 inches. Once the fabric is ready turn to the reverse side and place it on a flat surface and tape it around on all four sides so that it doesn't slide away. Using a ruler, mine had a width of 1.25 inches, I will draw a margin on all four sides of the fabric. Once the margin is done, I shall now draw vertical lines as shown in the video using my ruler. Next, I will draw horizontal lines on the fabric which will now give me 1.25 inches squares on the fabric. Now let's draw this pattern within the boxes which is needed to create the design for the clutch bag. Understanding the pattern is very essential cause a slight mistake in the pattern will ruin the uniformity of the design. Once the frame for the design is ready, I will grab my needle and thread and connect the three points of the triangle as shown in the video and secure with multiple knots. I repeat the same method for all the triangles I have drawn and I prefer going from bottom to top and left to right.
as you can see I start from the right corner and move to the left corner and move to the bottom corner of the triangle and yes this same step has to be followed for all the triangles Once all the triangles are connected as shown, you will get a look like this and when you turn it around, you will have the lovely look of this beautiful design ready for your clutch bag. Now I stitch the sides of the fabric and fold it in half and stitch the sides again. Now I place the main fabric on another single folded fabric and cut out a similar size fabric for the lining of the clutch bag. I will now stitch the sides of the lining as well. To give extra support for the bag, I have inserted a stiffener sandwiched within the lining and the bag fabric and place it as shown in the video. Next is to double fold and stitch the bag opening as shown. Now we can insert the bag lock into the opening of the bag. You can use any non-sharp objects like a screwdriver to help insert the lock within the gap given. To keep it secure, I use these pins and pin it into the holes given in the lock. Repeat it around the lock so it will be easy to attach the lock.
Now grab your needle and thread and start stitching the lock and the bag together as shown in the video. And that's it, this pretty clutch bag is ready for you. If you found this video useful and interesting, please click the like button and share with your friends who would love to make one. Comment what you think about this video and please subscribe my channel for more such interesting and useful projects. See you in the next video. Until then, bye bye from home and you.